Hello Hacienda La Puente, this is Ricardo, one of your tech tosas, and today we are going to talk about Microsoft Translator, the app. So I have an Android phone, but um, Microsoft Translator works the same way on an iOS device, on an iPhone. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your app store, in my case, my Play Store. Okay, so when I go there, I want to go ahead and look for Microsoft Translator. Okay. I'm going to look for it. Okay, it's the one that has this little green um, icon like this, and I have already installed mine, so you will have to install your Microsoft Translator, but this is what it looks like. And once you have installed it, it's going to give you an option to open. So I'm going to open it, and this is what it's going to look like, okay? Um, it's going to look like this. Uh, I was using it for something else before, but this is what the main window looks like. And you have a couple of things that you can use, okay? Let's go and start with the first one right here, okay? So when I go there, notice that I have, I have it set up in a way in which I can talk if I want to, okay? Si yo hablo en español, me debe de entender. Si yo hablo en español, me debe de entender. So notice that I spoke in Spanish, right? And then it translated to English because this is the way I have it set up. I can change it in which I'm going to speak English now. And I want it to translate to, uh, I can do anything basically. There's a lot of languages that it will actually uh, uh, speak it for you and some of them that it will just uh, actually type it for you. So let's do it the other way around, okay? So I'm going to speak in English and it's going to listen to me in Spanish. So as we talk, it should translate to Spanish now. So notice how it did it for us. So that's the first um, option that you have. This could be helpful when you travel, I guess. But there's a great tool right here. You see the two microphones over here? This tool is pretty amazing. If I speak in English, you'll see that the other translation will switch to Spanish. So let's say that I was maybe talking about my student, okay, or, or talking about a student, okay? Your son is doing very well in my class. And the parent could actually come over here and speak in Spanish to me. Y llega a tiempo todos los días. And notice how it will translate this. So you could have a conversation going back and forward and you'll be able to speak and communicate. So that was the first example um, for our, the, the top over here. Uh, if you've seen our video with the browser, you notice or you've seen that you can start a conversation here or you can join a conversation too. So this one is to join and this one is to start. So if there was a teacher using their browser or their phone and they had a conversation with a group of people, you could be following the conversation in Spanish or in Mandarin or any or, or, or any language of your choice, and the person will be speaking in whatever language they choose. You can also start a conversation here, okay, in which you decide which language you're gonna speak. So maybe I'm going to speak in Spanish, and you'll notice that I'll create a uh, session where people can actually use the QR or the web link over here, and they can choose their language of choice, and they can follow along. If you want to see how this works, there's a video on our playlist that talks about how to use this particular feature of Microsoft Translate, okay? So just so you know, that's what it does right there, okay? Okay, so let's go back, okay? Uh, you also have the ability to use the camera, and I want you to see how this works, okay? So if I take the camera, okay, and I look for something that has English, and I'm going to just do this one right here, okay? And then notice that I'm going to take a picture right now. Hopefully it will let me. So let me go ahead and put this right here. And if I take a picture, notice that it's going to put the translation right on top, okay? And again, it's using artificial intelligence. It does a really great job. I'm gonna show you again with a different language. So maybe I wanna go from English now to Spanish, okay? And then I'm gonna take that same picture. Okay, there it goes. And notice how it's going to put the translation right on top. This is a great tool that our students could use from home or maybe our parents could use from home too, okay? So that's the other feature that we have in here. And finally, um, over here we have what 
start typing and it will just recognize the language that you are using. So let's say that I wanted to type in English and I wanted to translate to Spanish. Okay, you could do this, okay? So today, sorry, today is uh, Sunday and so on and so on. So another great tool. So this pretty much gives you an idea of what Microsoft Translate does. Again, you have to download it from the um, App Store or the Play Store, but it is a great tool to be able to use with parents and students. If you have any questions, please contact any of your tech courses. Have a great day.